Many people believe that February was going to be a massive month for Bitcoin and March would see a big pullback. Crypto offers us an interesting paradox because it's predictably cyclical and yet on a smaller scale, wildly unpredictable. Starting to look like March is going to be an extremely bullish month for Bitcoin, where we will see it establish strong support above 50k. But what does this mean for altcoins? It means most likely this will be the start of the next wave of humongous altcoin movements. You definitely want to be in the game. Find out what my top coins of the month are for March and what we can expect to see. Let's get it. BitSwap is the hottest new way to trade tokens. Crawling all the top decentralized exchanges, BitSwap gets you the very best price and value for your trades. BitSwap is changing the game. Try it now at bitswapdex.io. Welcome to BitBoy Crypto, the largest crypto channel in all the interwebs. My name is Ben. Every day on this channel, I show you how to make money in cryptocurrency. If you like money in crypto, make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash the likes. That helps YouTube know you want more people to see crypto content. My voice is a little uh, raggedy after our meetup this weekend. I talked to a lot of people, so please excuse that in this video. Also, guys, don't forget to check out our Bybit trading competition. We're giving away $6,000 in prizes to the top traders. Contest is going on right now, so don't miss it. Sign up for Bybit and for our trading competition by heading over to bitboycrypto.com slash Bybit. In today's video, we will be taking a look at my top coins for March, and I'm expecting fireworks. Well, how good are our picks on the channel? Last month, we had one coin that went up 200% and still climbing in Frontier. It's actually the biggest holding for our 1K to 10K altcoin challenge. But the point is, we know how to pick them on this channel, so you definitely want to pay attention. This month, we're getting back to our old method of picking coins, which is using token metrics. This is the best altcoin research site on the planet. If at any point you like what you see, make sure to head on over to bitboycrypto.com deals and check out what token metrics has to offer. Get a seven day trial for less than five bucks. This month, we're actually going to be making our picks a little bit different than normal, even with token metrics. We're actually going to be using token metrics index allocation. This is a part of the token metrics research system that allows you to take a peek inside of their best picks. You can set them up by different features to come up with the perfect allocation for your portfolio. You can choose whether you want to view the index of a trader or a long-term investor. You can also have it choose a daily, weekly, or monthly time frame. Do you want to go total degen with it? Well, if you do, then simply select the low cap option. Then it will only select coins with a market cap less than $30 million. On a side note, I think it's interesting that now under $30 million, it's considered a low cap. Over the summer, it was $10 million. But as you guys know, the numbers have started getting crazy. Also, you can tweak the exchange. For many of you, you may only be able to use Coinbase. Others may prefer Uniswap only, while others may prefer the centralized exchange, but no KYC requirement that KuCoin offers. I would say that these indices alone are worth the price of the professional plan for token metrics. We've crushed the market for over a year now using token metrics, totally worth it. So everyone understands the setup here. We will be using the trader, monthly, and all caps included options, along with selecting the all exchanges option. So before we count down the top four coins you should be holding in your portfolio, you need to notice that USDC, Tether, and Paxo Standard are allocated in this portfolio. These are obviously stable coins pegged to $1. They do not go up in value. So why in the world would they be in this index? I think this is an important point to note, is token metrics basically suggests you keep some amount of your portfolio at all times liquid so you can make trades at optimal times. You never know what may happen in the short term. All right, so here we go. Coming in at number four in the smallest allocation of the portfolio, we have Alpha Finance. This goes by the ticker Alpha and is a DeFi project. Token Metrics has 6.24% of its portfolio allocated to this coin. You may remember that last month Alpha Labs actually had some issues that were brought on by a bug in the project that also affected Cream Finance. Before that happened, Alpha was on an absolute tear. It looks like they've gotten their issues sorted out and should be heading back on the upswing. Alpha is coming in right now at number 124 on coin market cap, but most likely will head back into the top 100 by month's end, if not much higher. 
It looks like right now it is in the midst of a breakout of 20% today. At number three, we have Nord Finance with an allocation of 15%. This one right now is coming in at number 947 on CoinMarketCap.com. It has a market cap of only $6.3 million. This is definitely our low cap gem of the month. It's going, I think we are front running a little bit. This one is available on BitMax, Uniswap, and One Inch Exchange, which means, of course, you can also get it on BitswapDex.io. I think this is a heck of a gem, which is why we've actually moved our portfolio around for our 1K to 10K challenge to scoop this one up. This is another one we think has massive potential and token metrics loves. So even though it's already had a green day today, we think it has even more potential. I mean, the market cap is under $6 million. Nord Finance is, of course, you guessed it, a decentralized finance project. Hottest niche in crypto. Nord is an advanced DeFi ecosystem that is chain agnostic, meaning it can work on any chain. Due to the high ETH gas fees, we may be seeing more of these agnostic platforms that are hedging their bets against high Ethereum gas fees. On the Nord platform, you can manage smart funds, get high yields, perform cross-chain swaps, and do it all for no cost on your transactions. At number two, we have Terra with an allocation of 28.67%. This project, going by the ticker Luna, has already moved all the way up to number 33 on CoinMarketCap. This has all been done almost unnoticed by most. I know I've seen it on the rankings many times, but never really paid attention to it. It has been on my radar a bit this month, but Token Metrics has taken notice and I expect big moves from it. A quick look at the chart shows a huge recent pump, but then something really interesting in the recent days and weeks. Consolidation is something that occurs after a big pump or a big drop, where buyers and sellers go through a period of trying to establish an average price. Once the sellers raise their orders and the buyers lower their orders, price gets established in a tight range. Following that process, we get what we call breakouts. Looking at the chart, you will see we are definitely in that window for Luna, and it looks prepared for another big move. Terra, of course, shocker, is a DeFi project. Programmable money for the internet, if you will. Terra has stablecoins pegged to different currencies that allow people to spend their crypto in a seamless way. This is one not only to keep your eye out for today and this month, but also for the long term. If it pulls off all its goals, it could just become the currency of the internet. Number one, and be prepared, it's the most boring coin of all time, Bitcoin. This is something that most newer people to crypto believe isn't necessary to your portfolio. For a while, I agreed. I gave the standard line that you need 25 to 50% of Bitcoin in your portfolio because that's just what we're supposed to say. But I do believe that right now, you do need to start stacking up some Bitcoin which is why it's gone from not even in my top 20 holdings all the way up to my number three holding behind Ethereum and Cardano. Let's face facts. Bitcoin is way outperforming what we all felt it could do at this point. February started out with a bang and a massive move to almost 60K for a giant retracement at the end of the month. While this was bad for our portfolios in the short term, the truth is that the end of the month drop was vital for bullish action in March. Suddenly, everybody's back to talking about moons and Lambos, just like that. So what do you think? Do you believe these coins will crush it in March, or are you focused on other projects? Let me know down below in the comments. That's all I got. Be blessed. Good boy out.